Rich Grandpa pretends to leave his property to the janitor instead of his family to test them. An affluent grandfather, aware of his advancing age, devises a scheme to determine the deserving heir to his estate within the family. He orchestrates a scenario where he appears to bequeath his wealth to his janitor, concealing his true intentions. At 84 years old, Billy's health began to deteriorate, yet he remained active in managing his large mansion. Despite his wealth, he was not idle, often tending to his plants and tidying his room despite his physical limitations. He cherished moments spent in front of his late wife Melody's portrait, reminiscing about their past together. Billy found joy in simple pleasures such as walking his dog and engaging in a nightly board game with his janitor, Tim, whom he teased affectionately after each victory. Billy loved placing bets like who would make snacks or tea for the day's winner, and he was always proud of beating his opponent. Not that Tim was weak at playing chess. He did not have the heart to see his boss lose. He found true joy in accepting defeat and making the older man smile. Tim was an orphan and was grateful to Billy in every little way possible for raising him like his own son. Please come if you want to find out what you'll be inheriting after I'm gone, Billy would often tease. One day, something strange struck Billy's mind. Gently rubbing Melody's picture, he wondered, I'm getting older each day. I might join you in heaven anytime, darling. How will our kids react if I tell them I'm disinheriting them? Will they stay with me? Will they still love me? Or will they? The next morning, he waited for his three sons, William, John, and Craig, and their families to join him for breakfast. They lived in the same house with their wives and children, but never had the time to join each other for meals. They were all busy with their respective businesses. Billy had personally met them the previous night and told them he wanted to talk about his will. His sons and their families joined him at the dinner table, and it felt like a traditional breakfast, which the grandpa loved. Billy coughed, adjusting his voice. Sons, you know I'm getting old. William, John, and Craig stopped eating and looked at their dad worriedly. So, I was planning to talk to my lawyer about the estate, continued Billy. I decided to leave everything to Tim, our janitor. The sons were shocked and stared at each other. Billy continued, you see, Tim has nobody other than us. He has always spent time with me and has never made me feel lonely. Sons, you three have your businesses and are rich. I don't think you would need any financial assistance from me anymore, so I'm going to bequeath my estate to Tim. What do you think? Following an eerie silence, William agreed, saying, Dad, we respect your decision. We love you, not your money. We are okay with whatever you want to do with your estate. John and Craig agreed likewise, and Billy felt assured his sons were being truthful, but deep in his heart, something pricked. Why not give them some more time? Nobody would be willing to give up such a huge estate, let alone my sons. Am I missing something in the bigger picture? He wondered. A few days later, Billy's suspicions were proven right. Dad, I'm moving out to my new house. I have to live closer to my factory, said William. He moved out with his family in a week. Soon, John and Craig followed in their older brother's footsteps and moved to new homes with their families. Billy knew where this was going but never discussed it with anyone, not even Tim. Months passed, and Billy's sons stopped visiting him, let alone picking up his calls. It was evident how they begrudged him and started hating their father for choosing their janitor over them. One day, Billy called his sons and invited them to a family dinner at his house. He anticipated their reactions but was unprepared for the reality. Sorry, Dad. I can't come. I'm busy, said William, hanging up. Dinner? Why? Isn't Tim home or something? I'm sure you'd enjoy dinner with him. Bye, Dad, John said, not coming. Craig didn't even bother to pick up Billy's call. Billy smiled and then laughed in front of Melody's portrait. I told you, didn't I? Our sons are grown men now. They only love the smell of money. They don't respect or honor my wish, but I'm not going to be unfair to them. I'll still try another time. Billy called his sons again and told them he wanted to talk about the will. Please come if you want to find out what you'll be inheriting after I'm gone, he said. Then he left Craig a voice message because he wouldn't answer his call. The sons flocked to their dad's mansion the next day, greed beaming in their eyes to know who got what. Billy sat at the head seat as his sons joined him for the meal. They laughed and boasted about how much they loved and missed their dad. Following the hearty lunch, they sat still, nervous when Billy started to speak about the fate of his fortune. 
It gives me immense pleasure to tell you boys that I was just testing you. I really had no intentions of leaving a dime to our janitor, Billy announced. William, John, and Craig looked at each other puzzled. Billy then continued, however, after what I've seen, I now know who should get what. I met the lawyer yesterday and have already written my will. While you each will be getting one dollar each, Tim, my dear janitor, will get everything, including my bank balance. It turned out that Billy was upset by his children's behavior. Although he initially faked making Tim his hair, he ended up bequeathing everything to him after discovering his son's true colors. William, John, and Craig stormed out of their dad's house, cursing and frowning. They never returned and could not contest the will because of Billy's catch. He had intentionally left them each one dollar and had added a no contest clause in his will, thus rubbing salt into their wounds. As for Tim, he had no clue he was the sole inheritor of his boss's fortune. Billy had decided to keep it a secret until his death and thank destiny for helping him find a true, loving son in Tim. Love your parents, not their money. When Billy told his sons that he had disinherited them from his will and left everything to the janitor, they walked out on him. This event made him reflect on the true meaning of family, that children are not simply those you give birth to but those who stand beside you in your old age. After learning about his will, Billy's sons abandoned him. However, Tim, his janitor, remained loyal and stood by his side, behaving like a true son. In another story, an older man invited his family to celebrate Thanksgiving a month in advance. They eagerly gathered at his home for the occasion, only to discover that he had already passed away.